Hi, what's going on? In this video, we'll look at how do we connect our Google Workspace account with Grow Me Organic. And the reason why we want to do it is because we want to send bulk emails. It would not be possible for us to manually send email to these guys. So Grow Me Organic allows us to connect multiple senders, multiple email accounts, and it can send on your behalf those bulk emails with proper gaps and hyper personalization. You don't want to manually send each email one by one and this is where you want to use a uh, Gromi Organics email campaign dashboard. It is the very matured cold email platform. You can set up your custom tracking domain. You can do a bunch of things but here I'll just show you how do you connect your the Google Workspace account with Gromi Organic. So first of all what you need to do is you need to head over to email campaign and head over to connect new sender. <coughs> And this is where you can create folders according to which you can manage all your accounts. But here I create a new folder, let's say test, because I I'm just demonstrating you all these things. I'm just I'm just gonna name it as test, and all the senders I'm gonna put it inside this folder. So here I'll click on connect a new sender. Is this is where I'll be connecting my sender. But before I start filling all these information about like the email and password, I will first have to do two more two most important things. Number one is enable the IMAP for the Google Workspace account that I want to connect with Gromi Organic. And number two is turn on the two step verification so that we can create the app password. So one more time, we need to enable the IMAP and we need to create the app password. So how do we do that? First of all, head over to your account. So this is the one which we created, john And to enable the IMAP for john we need to go to see all settings, head over to this, click on settings and click on see all settings. Then head over to forwarding and pop slash IMAP and you need to enable the IMAP from here. And then you can click on save changes, that's it. So that is how you can enable the IMAP. The next step would be creating the app password so that we can put it inside Gromi Organic. So here I'll put my account.google.com to enable the app password. So head over to security and this is where uh, you will see you are getting the option to enable the two-step verification. But if you're not getting any option to enable the two-step verification, you will have to head over to your admins dashboard and enable the two-step verification. How do we quickly do that? This is something which you need to only do it if you are not able to see this. If you're not able to find this thing, then only you need to head over to your admins dashboard one more time. This is your admins dashboard and you can search for two-step verification two-step verification and this is where you can enable the two-step verification but this only you need to do it if it is not enabled by default so here you need to check this allow users to turn on the two-step verification if it is turned off in your case then only you need to uh, you know enable this otherwise we can go back and turn on the two-step verification from here right so I'll just click over here, click on get started and it'll ask me for the password one more time. So I'll put the password over here and then it'll ask me to put my phone number. So here I need to put my phone number, verify it through OTP and then I'll be able to create the app password. So I'll just put my phone number over here. All right, so as you can see, I have successfully enabled my two-step verification with the phone number that I just given and then here I will click on turn on. That's it. And as you can see, our two-step verification is now enabled. Now what you need to do is enable the app password. You need to create a new app password from here and we will choose the custom name and put it as Gromi Organic because we're creating an app password for Gromi Organic. And I'll copy the app password from here, right? Now you're good to go. You can go back to Gromi Organic dashboard and create a new SMTP server over here. So I'm gonna name this as Anant. Then it was example hub. So just for me to identify this quickly, Anant example hub. And it's a G Suite account, so I'll put it as G Suite. It is only for me to identify when I'm creating my campaign, I can easily identify this sender. 
now here this is the one which our users will be able to see so i need to put the right name over here and i need to put the email id so email is going to be examplehub.com examplehub.com right and here we'll be choosing the senders as google apps so what it is going to do it is going to pre-fill these values like host port and all these things you don't have to figure out on your own once you choose this you can see all these values are pre-filled and you just need to put the password password is the one which we copied from here so i will put the password over here and the username is going to be the same anant at the rate examplehub.com and i also need to check the imap we've already enabled our imap now i just need to paste the same exact password which we copied earlier and the username is going to be the exact same thing which i can copy from here and paste it over here that's it now here if you want to put your signature you can absolutely do that if you have a html signature then head over to source code paste your html signature over here and then press ok so here once you've added your signature this is where you'll be setting up your daily sending limit and since you're just getting started we want to keep it as 10 emails per day so i'll put 10 emails per day and here i will be choosing my time zone so based on whatever is your country time zone you can choose it you can choose that from here i'm just going to keep it as united states and canada for now and the custom tracking domain we're just going to keep it whatever it is as of now and then i'll click on update and check this sender here it says password not accepted maybe i have put in a wrong password so i need to go back and uh, double check whether I copied the right password or not. So I'll copy one more time. I'll go back. I'll paste over here and then I'll paste this over here as well. I can confirm this. Okay, the thing is, I was putting Anand. I instead of Anand, I need to put John because we created the account for John, not Anand, right? We created this account for John. So I'll go back to Gromy Organic and I'll change this to John. This one also, I'll change this to John. And now if I click on update and check the sender, it should work. Look at this. The only problem is we put in Anant on top. So I'm just going to name it as John instead of Anant. This is John's account that we created and click on update, check the sender. And this is one of those uh, problem that you might also encounter while creating the SMTP server. This is something that happens usually so it's good i'm not going to edit this part of the video uh, it's better you know that you might make such mistakes and so always ensure that you're putting the right email and the password and you're putting the right name uh, on the top and also i forgot to you know fix this one as well so i'm just going to name it as john d right so just keep these things in mind right so i've just uh, connected my email account over here now what i need to do is i need to follow the exact same process for the other email account. So I'll have to log in with my other email account and exactly the same way I'll be connecting all my email accounts over here, right? So now in this video, we have learned how do we connect our email accounts with Gromy Organic. Uh, now you need to ensure that you have created mm, with multiple domains, you have created those emails account and you are connecting all of them with Gromy Organic. In the next video, we'll see how do we set up the custom tracking domain, which is very important.